Hi everybody! It has been a crazy week here for me. It's been spring carnival here in Australia, in Melbourne. And uh, you can hear that I am suffering because I think I did something every day and night. Normally I don't do that. Normally I just go to like Derby, Cup, Oaks. This year I went had, you know, Halloween tacos because Jeff Leatham was over here, you know, the fabulous florist. And he made the night so fun. In fact, I'll add um, a little touch of... Uh, taco night with him here it was crazy I did video a little bit but I don't think <laughs> I don't think you want to see the whole thing but I'll just put a snip on maybe at the end uh, what else has been going on I had dinners lunches it was just completely crazy um, and it was really interesting because I noticed my skin deteriorating with alcohol isn't that bizarre um, so it's amazing how much alcohol plays in you know how your skin looks because I know on Derby day which was the Saturday that was my best day, I thought. And then um, on Cup Day, I could see that my skin just wasn't quite as good. And I can see it in the photos and everything. Bizarre. I probably shouldn't tell you all that because then you'll go and scrutinise them all. But um, it's very interesting, you know, what alcohol does to our bodies. And I'm just having a little rest from it at the moment. I don't even feel like it at the moment. Anyway, two amazing things happened to me at the races, which I loved. They were not, you know, star-studded things. They were things that meant a lot to me. So I want to share them with you. I had, a few weeks ago... I went to this uh, assassin bide night at Maya. You might have seen my video that I made about that, I don't know, ages ago, a couple of months ago. And anyway, I met this lovely girl there, I'm not telling her name because I promised that I wouldn't say it like that. But she came bounding up to me in the marquee, shook my hand and looked me in the eye and I went, nice. And she goes, you taught me that. And I'm like, oh my God, because when I met her at the, at the Maya assassin bide thing, she shook my hand, she did one of those really tragic sh um, handshakes, you know, really kind of those women's handshakes that aren't strong and powerful, no looking in the eye, all that sort of stuff. So I said, hey, you can't be doing this job and not shaking hands properly. So I made her do it, you know, I don't know, three or four times. And then her boyfriend came up and he said to me, I am so glad you told her that because I've been telling her the same thing. Now, sometimes you tell people stuff like that. And I, you know what, I've, I've told two people that in my life. And uh, sometimes you don't know whether you vote step for Mark, because I didn't know her. But it was really great to hear that that had actually made a difference to her. So, hello. <coughs> Excuse my horrible cough. Um, that comes from too much partying, clearly. Um, but it was awesome. So the other thing that happened, which was very similar, was another girl came up to me who I'd met last year at the races in the Maya Marquee as well. And she said to me, oh, my God, this time last year you said to me, what, you know, I was thinking about what I would do with my life, what I was doing with jobs and all that sort of stuff. And um, she was deciding whether to have a family or whatever. And I said, well, you've just got to weigh it up. I said, you know, Paul and I are really glad that we had kids young because now we're young and we can, you know, go off and do a few things and all that sort of stuff. Now, that's not necessarily what's right. So don't write into me and saying you're older and you're just starting now because I understand timing is everything. And you know, all of you guys out there who are having babies older, you did all the stuff young that I wasn't doing. I was locked at home with kids. So, you know, everyone has their little time to have their play. And um, I'm just getting it more as an older person than, uh, you know, in my 20s. So anyway, uh, I told her that story and she decided that that's what she wanted to do. So she was planning on all that and hoping to get pregnant soon. So I thought that was lovely that, I don't know, when you think that you're just having a really nice conversation and you can have an impact on someone, it just made me really happy. And, um, and also, I'm sure a lot of you know that I was on Oprah's live class, on her webcast, which was so, so exciting. Um, I think I was the first Australian to ever have been on. And Catherine, remember Catherine who was on the Oprah show and Oprah surprised her with the baby shower and she could barely speak. I've made a video with her before. She came over to my house, so we did it together. And it was just so great. I really love Catherine. She's far more, you know, articulate than you would think from that video. Because <laughs> in that video, she was so, like, stunned that she couldn't even think. But, um, oh, we had such a great time. And you know what? It was just nice to have that connection with Oprah where we were having a conversation. It wasn't quite the same as when she was in my living room. But it was amazing. It was just nice to, you know, go, hi, you know, hi again. So, Hi. Oprah Land. Um, no, it was really fun. And then I went on Kerry Ann Kennelly's show this week as a result of that. I haven't got a link to that just yet, but I'll try and find one. Um, and so we were just talking about the web class because a lot of people don't even know that in Australia we have access to that live web class on Facebook. It's amazing. 
So if you're an Oprah fan, it's something to really check out. I'll put links under here and uh, you can have a look. Um, what else do I want to tell you? Oh, I before I started this video, I said, did anyone have any questions? So I'm just going to quickly look because I don't think there's very many. Seeing as Paul's not with me doing this one. Paul and I have started a, a real estate page for him, Catherine Gilbert, on Facebook. So go and like that because he and I are going to hit the town and we are going to make some real estate videos. And I think that'll be fun, you know, stuff where it's informative but, you know, entertaining at the same time. Yes, okay, now, where is it? Okay, so I'll just refresh the page. Okay, so what have you guys all been doing this week? I like hearing what you guys have been up to as well. Oh my god, it's nearly my birthday. It's a month away, so I am going to make an official video about this. But every year on my birthday, I really like people to make me videos. For those of you who've watched me for years, just take a little bit of time and say happy birthday because I like to see you as well. And it means a lot to me if you spend a couple of minutes just, you know, so I connect. I find that really awesome. And, you know, I've met a lot of people that way. Just, you know, they've sent me those videos. I watch every single one of them on my birthday, which is December the 8th. But don't do it yet. Well, you can practice making one, but I'll put up a video that you will attach it to so I can keep them all together. Okay. <coughs> oh, and I also put all our wedding videos up on my Facebook page as well. Not wedding videos, wedding um, photos. You have to remember it was the 90s, everyone. I did have kind of curly hair. I did look a little bit Kylie Minogue-ish. Everyone was sort of saying, you know, I look like Kylie and Neighbours. And that was the time, really. Okay, now where did I put this? I've got so... This page moves so fast that sometimes... Okay, here we go. Oh, cute. I've got seven questions, everybody. They should be short and sweet. Kelly said, how do you get tickets to all the amazing functions you go to? Kelly, that has taken many, 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 many years of just taking my camera everywhere and living in Melbourne. And I don't know. It's just it's just the way it is. It's kind of happened and, and I've become involved in different things and I guess I've never put anything bad up about anyone. I sort of make it very well known that, you know, I'm not about bagging someone or putting something awful up. So there's a certain amount of trust that a lot of the press has with me. <coughs> so maybe that's part of it. Uh, Jenny said, can you tell us if the Activate Your Mind program has made any difference to how you approach food and exercise? Okay, everybody. I keep meaning to make a proper video about this. So now I'm just going to tell you. I did this Activate Your Mind thing uh, regarding weight loss where you go and you discuss different things and she trains your mind to think of things differently. <coughs> Sorry about that cough, that is so bad, but I can't be bothered, you know, getting up and down. You just have to put up with the cough because it's YouTube. Um, okay, so what she did was uh, we talk about all sorts of stuff. Now, the thing is, and the honest truth of this is, that I do not have a bad childhood to reflect back on. Like, I had a great childhood, great family, great parents, nothing sinister happened so um <coughs> <coughs> I think talking's making me cough anyway nothing bad happened in my life so there's nothing for me to get rid of I don't emotionally eat I just know I don't so basically I just like food and we I needed to train myself to think differently about food I am going to have to turn this off because I'm about to have a coughing fit <laughs> coughing fit aversion or over okay so what I think is yes I do think it works it's definitely made me think differently about foods I'm definitely more mindful I'm more mindful about the size of portions that I have I am thinking about exercise more I mean I always think about exercise. I always think about all these things but I am I don't know I guess it has made me a little more mindful and I would recommend doing it and I would especially recommend doing it for those of you who do have stuff that you need to let go because I, um, I know that she, um, Caroline's had great success with people doing that. And I have started to lose weight. But, you know, seriously, don't ask me if I've lost weight over the racing carnival. Because drinking champagne and eating silly food is not going to do it. And we all know that. So, you know, we can't expect miracles. But, yes, I think it's fabulous. So I would recommend it. I would. And I will keep you updated when I have a, you know, a more conclusive post. <coughs> okay. I hope that's not deafening you. Paul always says when I cough, it deafens his ears. He'd be telling me off if he was here. Um, Simone said, what was the inspiration be behind starting all the videos? I started making videos ages ago because I saw a group called the 100 Day Challenge where we set our mind on uh, creating our own life. And I knew that I already did that. And I thought that if I made videos about creating my own life and, and uh, 
deliberately putting into play what I said I would, that other people would see it was possible because I knew that it was possible and I knew I did it, so I just wanted to document it. Um, and from that, like I started years ago, it started when YouTube first, first began. So I've really been on, you know, since the beginning and was lucky enough to form a really lovely group back then. So basically, um, yeah, I just started to, to make positive videos. I wanted to be part of this group that I found so inspiring. And I still do. I love them all. Hello, co-creators. Um, what did I think of the episode on Oprah with Iyanla and the guy that said you matter? I think everything Iyanla said has great depth. I think she's quite amazing, actually. Um, and how does she think of all those quotes and phrases that just come tripping off her tongue? God, I think she's fabulous. I really think she's fabulous. And I, I can imagine this leading into a show of her own, basically, can't you? Um, <coughs> I mean, I love her having Oprah there too, but I think we'll all come to love her individually as well. I think she's awesome. Um, so yes, telling that guy he mattered was amazing. And we all do matter. You guys matter. You guys matter to me. You do. And I love hearing from you. I love seeing your little names pop up. And I love it when I ask you a question and you answer. I love it when I say, what's the weather like where you are? And you'll tell me. And it, I, I love it. I read them all. And I think, I imagine you all there. So that's quite fun. Um, Oh, am I thinking about coming to Malaysia? I'm thinking about going anywhere. I'm open to traveling anywhere. So yeah, one day. I would love that. Thank you. Um, <laughs> chat about anything you like, Christine said. That's nice, Christine. So I haven't got Paul here, so I've got no interruptions. I can just speak, speak, speak. Okay, and then Anastasia wants to know what's for dinner. I am cooking muscle and beef curry, actually. And uh, the whole pot just simmered over the top before and I had to clean it all up. It wasn't much fun. So I'm just going to refresh that and see if there's any more questions. But um, Zoe loves my muscle and beef curry, but it takes a while. You know, you've got to cook it for hours and hours. Um, okay, just let me check. La, la, la. Okay, I think that is it. My bridesmaid, Kate, told me off for putting my pictures of the wedding up. Well, she didn't really tell me off. She just told me I'd been causing trouble. It's quite funny because I guess you've got to think back. You know, it was the 90s, so... That's how it is, Kate. Yes. Okay, let me look, let me look, let me look. Jeepers, it's so hard. This page, you know, I put things up and then everyone starts adding stuff and the whole page just goes completely crazy. Okay, that's it. All right, I am going now. Thank you for watching and can't wait to see you all soon. Say hello and um, love, love, love. Bye.